prayer. Prayer is indispensable to, sa to save our souls as well as the whole world. St. Alphonsus says, He who prays well lives well. He who lives well dies well. He who dies well all is well. There's so much to be said about prayer that it's almost difficult to know where we should begin. But today I'd like to talk about one dimension of prayer that we can often forget, and it is uh, the hierarchy of prayer. In other words, uh, who should we pray for? Who is the first person we should pray for? Who, we have a prayer list. Who should be number one in the list? Of course, we should, our prayer should be Catholic. Catholic means universal, open to the whole world. Nonetheless, there should be a certain order of importance, so we call it hierarchy. Let's say that you are a married person with a family, which many of you are, I'm sure. That means the first one you should pray for would be your spouse, your husband or your wife. Then let's uh, go down the list. Do you have children? And after your spouse you should pray for your, your sons and your daughters. When you're praying, you're praying for many of their intentions but the greatest good of anyone is his relationship with God. Not simply in time, but for all eternity. So when you're praying, you're always praying that this person would get to know God, love God, serve God in this life, so that he or she will be happy with God forever in heaven. That should always be in the background of your prayer. Then, after that, you should pray for your parents. They give you life. They nurture you. They fostered your growth. They, they merit your prayers. Then, after your parents, you should pray for your brothers and sisters, your blood relatives, for their eternal salvation. Then, after that, you pray for your relatives, like your aunts, uncles, cousins. And after that, it's good to pray for your friends. That your friends would have Jesus Christ as their best friend. And after that, you might pray for those of your, your colleagues, those that you work with. God purposely placed them in your path so that you might be a bridge by which they can cross from heaven to earth. Then... And this is difficult to say, but uh, you even have to pray for those you don't like. We might even call them your enemies. What did Jesus do when he was on the cross? He spoke seven times. First time that Jesus spoke, he said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they're doing. And then we should also pray for this group. And this group maybe should be higher on the list. Pray for the souls in purgatory. That they'll pass from purgatory to heaven. So you've heard the list. So why don't we start to pray today. Pray for all those I've mentioned. And pray for this intention. That they would attain to eternal salvation. Meaning that one day they'll be in heaven praising God, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit for all eternity.